Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. We're going to be opening up the Series X. I was waiting so long for this. I'm so excited. I don't even play much Xbox anymore because all those games are on PC now and I'm really into PCs, but this is a, like an, a PC Xbox so it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, we're going to open this thing up and then we're going to do some game benchmarks like uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, probably Horizon, Forza Horizon 4, and Master Chief Collection. Compare like loading times and stuff. Let's get this thing open. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for my dreams to be powered. I've never had that happen before. Oh my god, look at it. It's mine now. It's mine because I opened it. Oh, so excited. Alright, she, she, on, she uncut. Are y'all ready to make some new history with the brand new Xbox Series X? Oh my god, boys, here we are. Here we are. <gasps> my dreams have been powered. Look, it's a box in a box. It's X on a box in a box. It's too bad the box isn't an X. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, she is a beefcake. Oh man. Frig yes. Let's just stand it up right there. Let's move this aside for now. Let's check out the accessories. Alright, look at this. So we got some foam. That's cool. We got some more foam. That's nice. We got a little pull tab for information. How to put batteries in and, you know, use your app to set yourself up. We don't need any of that. We've done it a few times. Oh man, my ultra high speed HDMI cable. Everybody gets one of those. Typical power cable. Oh, here's, I'm really excited about this part. Getting to hold the controller for the first time. Oh, okay. Oh man, it's got those elite feeling texture controls on any uh, textures in the handle under here. Maybe not much like the elite. These are more of a dense plastic, but they're very texturized. You got a good grip on it. This is gonna be amazing. Look at that, guys. Just when I first saw the pictures of this and I saw other people hold it, I'm like, I don't really like the the straight top. It kind of feels like a switch controller, or I don't know, just like some Steam controller. Maybe just just something it doesn't feel very Xboxy, but. No, you hold it in your hand. This is, this is good. This is good. What we're looking at here is the top. Oh, it's so green. Oh man, it looks. It feels like it looks so different in person than in the camera. You, you don't really get a sense of the actual diameter of these holes when you're looking at it through like a through like a TV or on someone else's video, like the actual size of them. They're pretty girthy holes, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, let's get this, oh man, let's get this cardboard off of here. Power your dreams. Continue tearing away. Wow. I gotta say, I do not mind how square and cubey this is. This definitely does look like a fridge, but I love the factor. I love the form. I love this forms factor. There's a little little thing I saw over here. It says Xbox right there, right? I kind of like that. So you could have this in your entertainment stairs, entertainment stand, kind of just chilling up and down like that, right? Kind of standing out if you want it to stand out, or of course you could always turn it on its side and get it like a like a big old stereo amp or something. Or, I mean, but the problem with that is then you got this big foot down here, just chilling, right? You know what, just whatever, whatever, do what you want. However, if you do it like this, now if you prefer to have it sitting this way, in particular, then you get a USB accent over there with your connect button, your reconnect controller button, you got a disk drive in the center with your disk drive open and close button, you got a power button there, and then a little Xbox symbol over there. It's almost like both these sides together were intended to be the face of the console. Almost emphasizing the fact that it's a box. And I'm sure there's a way to connect it to X too, but I can't think of it. Anyway, let's set it up. I really wanna, wanna compare games. All right, let's do some game loading times. Let's start with Master Chief Collection. Um, Honestly, booting this game, I didn't expect much of a much of a, a difference, even though it's an SSD on the Series X. Uh, but when it popped at 8.2 seconds, I was like, "That does feel. That does definitely feel quicker." So, 
Um, as you can see, it is kind of noticeably quicker considering that the One X pops at 18.5 seconds. We get a 10 second boost, so that's a, uh, I chalked that to a win. Now if you want to talk about a real win, let's try Forza Horizon 4. So this game takes a ridiculously long time to do any sort of loading. Fast traveling, picking your car, loading out of your garage, um, uh, switching in between the DLC maps that you have. It just takes... It just, it just takes forever. I, I didn't expect it to be as fast as it's going to be, as you can see here. And also if you watch here, so the, the, the house pops up, or your castle there, and then the vehicle pops up, and then immediately the map pop, the the menu pops up. Now we're gonna fast forward this clip for the One X. We just did this at 30 seconds for the Series X. We're gonna fast forward it for the One X, um, and you see house pops. That's fast forward, but now the truck pops, the window pops, and then then the menu pops. Like even just that little section, you can see the difference in speed. That's 53 seconds faster. Okay, so with GTA 5, I hit start, and I take a drink of water. And I spit it all over the place because that's 3.4 seconds and that's freaking insane. The PC version, I just did a test before doing this voiceover. It was 30 seconds. It is a different build, I'll admit that. They're almost nothing alike GTA 5 on the PC versus the consoles. But compared to the One X at 59.1 seconds, 3.4 seconds is freaking phenomenal. That's like 80% faster. All right, now it's time for Red Dead Redemption 2. For a guy who's put over 250 hours into the story mode, two campaigns, and one 100% completion achievement unlocked, I've spent my fair share staring at this loading screen. And not just this loading screen, the fast, the fast traveling loading screen as well. And I'm here to tell you that the Series X knocks like 30 seconds off of the time it takes to fast travel from one destination to another. And it boots this game in 28 seconds. I. I, I was speechless. I was speechless at this because I was like, this game's got loads of textures. Really, it's just really dense. And for it to be like 52 seconds faster than the One X is just amazing. Okay, so I was planning on doing comparisons on Red Dead 2 and GTA 5, but unfortunately, due to technical issues, only Red Dead 2 got done. So we're going to compare the northeastern mountains of the Grizzlies here in Red Dead Redemption 2 across both consoles. Uh, I, as like I said, I played 250 hours of this game, and this is probably my favorite region. It just it just looks so real. Uh, even on the One X, which I think was only 30 FPS, it's it's amazing. It's stunning. 4K. It the draw distances are adequate. You can see here on the mountain though, it's a little bit blurry. Just in front of it there, it's still sharp. So you can see that's about the distance of draw. The Series X looks pretty much exactly the same. Depending on the day, the time of day, when you get a little bit maybe better lighting, it might look a more, bit more photorealistic, but as far as like textures and draw distances, everything seems to be the exact same uh, as the One X. Uh, more on that in a moment. Um, I could feel in the controller, the game felt more responsive, and I feel like that's maybe the 60 FPS. Uh, would would wouldn't be surprised. It de uh, that kind of stuff does make a difference subconsciously. Uh, back to the draw distance issue, though. So as you can see here, the mountain blur is still there. So clearly, not much has actually been done as far as updating physics and rendering distances and stuff. It's pretty much just a frame rate booster. There's a weird thing I noticed. This is east of Armadillo, but. Look in front of the horse's head as I zoom in here. Look at the ground. See how it kind of like the, the ground is changing color. It's pulling shadows and stuff away as the character model tra passes the the camera pack. You know the camera corners around the character model. It, it like it's almost like reducing GPU load so that you can really maintain as much performance as you can get. Okay, so for the Series X, you can still see John's head. Um, it's still doing the shadow issue. Also, the color is off because the HDR stopped recording on the Elgato. This is why I didn't do the GTA 5 comparison. To sum everything up, it seems like the update from Xbox One to Xbox Series X just brought a 60 FPS. No performance increases other than that. Here's another attempt I did uh, to try to show you guys um, a comparison. Uh, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, but uh, the One X seems to have a brighter day. I don't know if 
it was just HDR. It kind of looks like it's just weather, to be honest. Um, but the games are the same. The draw distance looks to be the same. The grass textures are the same. Uh, the water looks identical. I'm pretty sure it was just a 60 FPS performance gain uh, with the update for the Series X and the PS5, I think. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys soon.